Welcome to the third video in the Unicon build series. What I have here is a drawing which is the layout of all the holes and features that we need to place in the side of the enclosure. This includes all of the I.O., power connectors, and fan. And what I've done is printed out the drawing on different pages and taped them together, cut to size to make it fit the enclosure side. And we'll mount that up and show what that looks like in just a moment. I've taped the template to the side of the enclosure. At the top are the eight RTD connectors, and to the right of that will be the Wi-Fi antenna connector. Below those are the I.O. connectors. Below that are five NEMA 515 receptacles. Four will be switched by the SSR pack and one will be on full time as an accessory. Below that is the user console connector. Below that are the two L630 receptacles for the heating elements. And finally at the bottom, on the right, is the input for the six gauge portable cord and the cord grip. And to the left of that will be a hole for a cooling fan. After punching all the holes through the template, we did a size check to make sure everything fits. RTD and I.O. connectors, NEMA 515 user console, L630, and six gauge input cord grip. Now we'll cut the rest of the holes. Here's a look at the enclosure after all the holes have been drilled and deburred. Don't call me out on that fan hole. Had a little issue with the drill bit. Also added a fan hole in the upper opposite corner. This will be for a vent only, but will allow for cross flow ventilation up and across the enclosure. The enclosure has been cleaned, sanded, degreased, and we've backfilled all of the holes with tape, masked off the inside. And now we're going to go ahead and prime and paint it. We're using a satin gunmetal for the color. Also wanted to point out a game time decision added a hole for a pass through ethernet cable if for some reason the desire to move from Wi-Fi to ethernet is there this pass through will give the ability to do that in the future. Here's what the enclosure looks like after painting. We'll give it some time to dry and then begin wiring. We'll do the wiring in the fourth video in the build series but for now thanks for watching